Hello everyone, I am Ryan. I make varts, that's video art, and I squeeze them out into your household so you can see what it's like to live in Cambodia. Sometimes those varts will even let you know what I had for dinner the night before. Barbecue ribs, that's one of my favorites. But today, oh boy, oh boy, today, you are in for something special. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm jumping on the Ablad, getting out of the city. I'm headed to Silk Island for a mega adventure. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna get the inside scoop on how silk is made. I'm gonna show you some of the Cambodian countryside. We're getting out of Phnom Penh, out of the hustle and the bustle of the city, just four kilometers out of the city, we find peace, tranquility, loveliness, and of course, silk. Let's go silking now, everybody's learning how. Come on on Silk Fari with me. Come on on Silk Fari. You know only one of the Beach Boys actually surfed? Bullshit. Y'all don't know people like this. 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 We are ready to go. We're headed out. But wait, this will not do. That sun might as well be camping because it is intense. I'm not gonna let these chicken legs turn into lobster legs today. Ready to form Pantron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go, Pantron force. Okay. Good. Phnom Penh kind of has some wacky geography. They got two rivers that run parallel right there and they kind of meet together in Phnom Penh. To get to Silk Island, we first had to cross over the Tonal Sap River, which has a bridge over it. So we took the bridge, I think it's the Japanese Friendship Bridge, over to this little peninsula and then drive across that peninsula and then we hit the Mekong. And so to cross over the Mekong and get to Kodak, Kodak is the other name for Silk Island, we took a ferry. A little local ferry. It's pretty cool. So I think we're going over there. Driver sits. Siggy. With the scooter, I think the cost was like 25 cents to get across, and it's just a 10 minute ride, but it's beautiful. The Mekong is like my favorite river, and I, I just love being on it. You can see those little hearts there. That's, that's actually, I didn't put those hearts in in post-production. Those are actually coming from my head as we cross the river. So when we got to Kodak, or Silk Island, we crossed another little bridge across the little, it's, I think it's, that's the, technically the Mekong, but it's like a little thin piece of it. And from there we went over to this little silk museum, which was a lot of fun. It was a dollar to get into and it had some animals. Oh, porcupines. They also had like a little seating area by the river so we can get a coffee and just kind of sit by the river and, and relax. And of course, they also had information. Would you like to get more information? 
Oh. That again, I can uh, explain you like and just tell you about the, the process of the uh, silkworm. Warning, the following program contains scenes of education. This guy is going to try and teach you something. It might seem a bit boring, but think about how you can use this knowledge to chat up the next person you run into who's wearing silk underwear. Hey buddy, you're really filling out that woven natural fiber nicely. Did you know? And then you can spew off a bunch of information and the guy in the silk underwear, he'll be like mega impressed. He might even let you try the underwear on. Viewer discretion is advised. But I'm sorry, right now we cannot see the real of the silk worm mm -hmm. because the real silk worm is ready to complete yeah, the cocoon. Yeah. Okay. But before I start about the silk process, I would like to tell you kind of the mulberry tree that is very important for the silk worm eating. Mm -hmm. One of this. This is the tree that we, we grow for feeding the silk worms. They eat. Kind of this leaf, they growing up big, like close a little bit than my finger side, uh -huh. and then they start to produce of the cocoon. This is the cocoon, and then the silkworm live inside. They inside of the cocoon around nine to ten days, and after that, the worm is became butterfly, and then the butterfly they cut and they come out. But I mean after they come out from the cocoon or the butterfly they cannot fly away because they get a little wing. They stay only here on the tree. We need to come to collect them from the tree, put them together on the newspaper. After we put them together, and then they start and mate. After one day, the female, a butterfly, start to lay the eggs. This is all the eggs. And after laying eggs, another day more, they die. Both of them, male and female, they have a short life. After that, we keep the eggs on the pepper around seven days. And then the eggs start and hatch, open, to become little lava. And then we go to take the mulberry leaf to feed them. Mm. After they start eating, until 25 days. They're growing up big like this that I told you. Mm -hmm. Until 29 days, all the silk worm it became yellow. And then the silk worm stopped eating. Mm -hmm. After that, we collect them from the tree, put on the tree again. And then the worm they start to spinning to get the spit off to cover its body. Mm -hmm. But you know they take in one day to complete the whole cocoon like this in one day, not too long. But let me show you the new one. Oh, there you are, you can't see the worm, but you can see the real butterfly. Oh. See? That's it. Can I take a picture? I just can take a picture. So, what is it doing? This is waiting for the partner, <laughs> oh. <laughs> waiting for the year. This, I mean, this one maybe get from this cocoon, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. that is open. Uh -huh. It just come up from here. Yeah, yeah. And this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear it? You can hear it flutter. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot do it much. No, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> And after the, the worm is produced a lot of cocoon, some of the cocoon we need to keep like for 20% to 30% keep to reproduce. And about seventy uh, percent, we can take to make silk. The outside layer that is not good. This is the second quality mm -hmm. that we call uh, raw silk, okay. and one that we take from up inside, something like this. Uh, this yeah. is the fine silk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, this is the good one. And about the colors of the silk in Cambodia, yellow. It is natural because one cocoon. Can get only one thread. Yeah. But you know how many meters? Uh, five yeah. meters. Five meters. Although you can guess. Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> oh, you get more than that. Really? Yeah. One of this can take five hundred meter long. Wow. From one. But I mean, you know, one thread that is not strong enough. We have to put twenty to thirty, and then we can get twenty to thirty thread. Mm. After that, they need to combine twenty thread. To make in one okay. and then thread it very strong 
-hmm. strong enough to weave in to make the product. Mm -hmm. You can feel some of the silk, mm -hmm. but this one is keep for a long time. Yeah, it's old. Yeah. This, so is this one piece yes, is one like piece 20... Of 20 of them together. Wow. 20 cocoon. This is like your hair, Sarah. Yeah, right? <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah. You know, uh, Cambodia, I heard like uh, in my village too, on this island, some of the men, but he want to be a woman, like gay. The preceding statement does not reflect the views of Itchy Feet on the cheap. Sexuality and gender identity are two separate things. So for example, if Ryan wants to put on Sarah's dress while she's at work and parade around the house calling himself a pretty, pretty girl, this does not mean he's gay. They, Tom, they use like a natural hair. Uh -huh. But you know, nice Tom, they want to change. Uh -huh. They use this one. So? Yes, mm. they can put on. Ah. Can, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know how silk is made. And life as we know it will never be the same. Oh, wow. You can, okay. you can, I can test. Try? You can try. Good? Yeah, it's good. I've never seen this before. Oh, how so how do you eat? Like you just eat straight from the fruit, or do you make with food? Some, for me, it's uh, just only something like that. But I mean, some people they uh, different like uh, fabric. <laughs> some they like sweet. Mm -hmm. You can use uh, sugar or something like that. That is huge. Huge? The fish? It's like a meat See alone. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yes, oh. that I told you <laughs> yesterday. Yes. One of the one of the tourists, like one person. He saw the fish, he put his finger to touch. When he put that, he just jump out like this and then he hold his hand. I come to see him, you know, get a little bit like maybe the fish. I mean like a... Uh, bite? Yes, bite. A little bit like problem, some of this. Oh, oh blood. <laughs> Those so not these are partial. For, these are uh, uh, not yeah. Some silk, some cotton. Yeah, and these are 100% silk. Yeah, 100% silk. 40 dollars. 45. And these are half silk. No. No, uh, just 10% or cotton. Mm. Okay. Might as well. So it's for mom. It's not for you. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> see how nice she is. After that, we found a cool what? 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 Wat. A Wat is a Buddhist temple. Okay. There's so many of these in Cambodia. Of course, Angkor Wat is the most famous one, but most of them are free to get into. You can just go there. They're public spaces. You show up and just walk around and just enjoy it. Nobody is going to bother you. And they're just really beautiful and peaceful. Shadier. Looking good over here. What are you taking photos of? It's just kind of nice. Yeah, that is kind of nice. Some of them are active, some are not as active. This one is actually right on the river and you can tell it's kind of falling apart a little bit, but we went across the road and kind of deeper inland and we found this big giant lot that seems like it's actively used. And it had a big giant reclining Buddha there. And when we first got there, we could actually see monks were eating lunch in this big building. So after they were done, we went over there and we got to watch the temple cats, probably just stray cats that hang around the temple, eat the leftover food that the monks had left. I guess watching cats eat leftover monk food makes you hungry because next we stopped at the Chroma Villa, which is a small resort on the river and we got some lunch. On weekends, this place fires up their wood oven pizza oven, wood oven pizza oven, wood pizza oven. It's a pizza oven and it uses wood to cook the pizza. Um, wow, looks good. Can I look in? Oh, it's hot. So we got some pizza and just chillaxed, chilled and relaxed at the same time. It's 
pretty easy to do really. You just have to kind of get into the zone. After that, we headed back and we all unanimously agreed that it was a nice, beautiful, fantastic day. The end. Closed book. Opened the book and then closed it, I guess. To get to Silk Island takes like an hour and it's a perfect little day trip from Phnom Penh. If you don't have a motorbike, if you want to take a tuk-tuk, you can do that. It costs maybe 25 bucks to rent a tuk-tuk for the day or a half day, I guess. Um, and he'll take you there and have them wait. I'm sure you can just like ask somebody in the street and they'll do it for you. It's also a popular place to bicycle. We saw many bicycles, people bicycling all around the island. Total cost of the day was about $10.25 each and that included pizza and drinks and everything. So it's a cheap day out, it's close, relaxing, no excuses, go out, Silk Island, get your silk on. Unless you have diarrhea, diarrhea would be one excuse, but even then there's probably Eh, no, don't go. If, if you have diarrhea, stay home. But other than that, go. Unless you have COVID, of course, but we don't really have to say that. COVID, stay home, quarantine, and that. But other than that, diarrhea and COVID, other than those two things, you should do this trip. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and thank you for being you, because you, you are special. And that's just because you watch my videos. So if you stop watching my videos, then you're not special anymore. So continue to watch my videos. More videos to come. Take care, comb your hair. And if you have a scraggly beard, you might want to take care of that too. My face looks like a spider web that somebody just took some pubes and just went. That's, that's basically the look I'm going for. Puby spider web. Yeah. When I'm by myself, I don't want to hang around y'all. Good health. One day I'm really gon' ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake. Flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face. Look at my grace. Don't match up, no love. Fuckin